So today we're going to be talking about living in Toronto and your costs associated with living in Toronto as a student. I'm going to ballpark all these figures for you uh, so you can get a really good idea of what it's like living in Toronto and how much it's going to cost you. And again, be sure to subscribe. I make videos for international students and everybody moving to Canada. I'm your number one source for people moving to Canada who want to get solidified here, make it, and stay here for a long period of time. So if that's you, be sure to subscribe and let's talk about prices in Toronto. You know, how much is it going to cost you to actually live in the city? So I've done some work over here and I've compiled some information for you because I love you guys and I want you to have a great time in Canada. So again, be sure to subscribe. Um, so looking at Toronto, if you're in a shared house, you're probably going to end up spending around $500 to $750 a month in a shared house. I'm talking about like shoebox apartment in a really tiny place, not really having your own place or much freedom. You'll have your own small room and you'll share it with maybe four, five, six other people. That you're looking at around $500 to $750 a month. Now for a bachelor, that's a really, really small apartment that's even smaller than a one bedroom place. We're looking at like really small, just a loft, maybe just an open concept place with a bed. For that, you're gonna be looking at $800 to $1,200 a month. So that's not uh, you know, on university campuses, that's actually renting in the city. So around up to $1,200 a month for like a really, really, really tiny place. As you can see, Toronto's is super expensive. It's up there with other cities like um, London and England. It's up there with New York. It's up there with California. Not as expensive as all of those, but really up there. It's one of those major cities that's going to cost you a lot. So you want to really look. One advice, one piece of advice that I'm going to give you to lower the cost is to find a friend to rent with or just find someone that you know that's willing to sublet the place to you for a cheaper price. That's a great way to get out. Now, looking at one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms, I know a lot of people aren't going to need three bedrooms, but for one bedroom, you're looking at about $1,000 to $1,600 a month. And again, these are just approximate ranges that can get more expensive. Two bedrooms, you're looking at $1,200 to 2200 so you can easily cross the two grand mark uh, here in Halifax our place it doesn't reach 2000 and it's a two bedroom with a bathroom and a downstairs and a loft and we're not paying two thousand dollars but in Toronto you'll be looking over well over two thousand dollars maybe twenty two hundred dollars it can even get up to twenty five hundred dollars we're looking at the basic cost not luxury apartments so for the most basic one bedroom for the most basic bachelor uh, if you're looking at you know two bedrooms, twelve hundred to two thousand two hundred, keep that in mind. But again, can go more. The three bedrooms can be twenty five hundred all the way up to four thousand dollars a month, and it can go more. It can skyrocket. We can be looking at five six grand a month. So it's really expensive in a three bedroom. You may want to grab a three bedroom, have another roommate, have them sleep on the couch, or just be rich. If you're rich, it's a great way to actually stay in Toronto. So. Those are some great ideas if you want to stay in the city. Obviously, if you have family or people you know that are going to cut you a break, that's even better. But do your best to try to save up before you come to Canada, before you go to Toronto. Um, there are other expenses in the city. Um, obviously, if you're going to buy lunch or you're going to you know, buy something to eat while you're staying at Ryerson University, it's really important to understand that, hey, I need to stick to a budget and that budget's going to help me actually be able to pay for things like rent. So your groceries are going to be around $40 to $100 a week. It can be up to $300 a month. And again, of course, you can eat uh, noodles like ramen, you can eat beans, you can make it cheaper. But generally, these, these are just like, you know, living a good lifestyle in Toronto. Coffee shops are going to cost about $30 a month. But again, if you're going to be having coffee every single day, it's going to cost more than $30 a month. This is just based on sporadic needs for grabbing coffee, for having something to, you know, having something to eat. Let's say you grab five, six, seven coffees a month, or maybe you go to Tim Hortons and you don't just do expensive, really expensive things, um, then it's probably going to cost you around $30 a month. Uh, takeout, delivery, restaurants, if you get it once a month or twice a month at most, around $40, $50. It can be more with delivery costs. If you're getting takeout over five times a month, you're going to be looking at well over a hundred dollars probably. Um, but really, you know, try different apps. Try Uber. Try Skip the Dishes. You can have a coupon code as well. I'm going to link you a coupon code down below for an app called Skip the Dishes. I've given you seven dollars for free, so if you hit that link right now, you're going to get seven dollars off all the food ever. And also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. You can learn new skills on the go. Hit that link. 
Right now, it's the first link I'm going to drop. You're going to get your first month or two free on me and you can learn all the skills you want. Super helpful. I recommend it for anybody who's moving to Canada. And if this video helped you at all, if you're moving to Toronto or if you're coming to Canada, you want to make it and launch up like a rocket, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification button. Again, my name's Nader Nader Najad and thanks for watching. Oh.